In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create routes. We will have the basic page uh, with the app component and on the second page we will have the add form. So for Angular, the current uh, package which we should use is Angular slash router for quite some time. You know, many of the applications were using uh, router deprecated, but you know, with their recent announcement, it seems router is now stable and we can start using it. So let's see if you go here, uh, no developers guide, I think, uh, where was it? Routing and navigations. Yeah. So yeah, it's an alpha release and they say that the route earlier deprecated beta, uh, can be you know, stopped using. So we will be using angular router and let's go into our code. So the first thing which we will do is inside our app folder, we will create a new file and we will name it app routes dot ts. Okay. Um, now we do need to do some imports. Import, let's say provide router and uh, router config from angular slash router. Um, with that done, we will do export constant routes which is a router config okay and this is going to be an array and now comes the syntax part so you know it will be an object where the first thing will be path so our path will be the add form will be on add bookmark and we need to mention which component we are going to load. So component is going to be, um, let me copy it. No, this is the HTML. So app routes, app component, add bookmark component, right? Yeah. Sorry about that. So yeah. I think this is directly added and we need to import it as well. The bookmark component. So import this from now we are in the app folder. So this and then we will do add bookmark slash uh, add bookmark dot component. Okay. Now we are getting quite a few errors as you can see. Um, let me just save everything and okay. So first thing is a bracket is expected line number five. I think I have done some syntax error. Um, I'm sure it's an object. Okay. Sorry. So this was the problem. Okay. And now it should run. Okay. Fine. We are not done with this part even now. So export constant, we'll name it app underscore router underscore providers, which is an array. And in that we will do provider router and in that we are going to send the routes okay so this is done now we are exporting a constant called app routes provider okay now what we need to do is if you see we have a file called main.ts this is where uh, all the bootstrapping for angular is done now we need to provide the routes here okay um, so the way we will do it is come here what were we exporting we were exporting this so copy that import that from now I'm inside the main folder so it should be app then app dot routes okay this is the file 
and we need to pass it in the bootstrap as an array element so app routers so far so good and so it's loading oh uh, we are not done yet cannot match any routes uh, because we have added the route but we need to change our index.html uh, so that you know the router outlet is used so for app component.html okay we will remove add bookmarks from there and we will add router outlet okay now obviously uh, we have added this directive so we have to add that in the component file as well so we'll go to app component and here because we are using the router directive so i'll import and because this is a directive so i'll add this here uh, we don't need this here anymore so we have just the component the router directives Um, oh yes I cannot find primary outlet to load add bookmark so inside this I have the component already loaded which is fine and A mistake. All right. So you can see now the basic thing is getting loaded, the add bookmark test, and we are still kind of loading this basic uh, title. Uh, I think that's part of app component. Okay, so that's different, but um, yeah, we need to create one home route as well which will be you know the default page and or rather we can directly redirect it to a home and then we will have the add bookmark form as well this is how we create a route and you know load up a component just to make things look better we will add some stylings i've already downloaded some css files for a different project so i'll just copy it here from that particular folder i think it's inside the public okay um, so these are the basic uh, bootstrap files I have just uh, you know, added a theme to it the bootstrap watch themes which are available um, I'm using lumen okay um, so we'll go to into our index file and inside that I will need to load up the CSS so uh, you know, if you see, I have copied the entire CSS fonts and JS file into the public folder. I have not pushed it in the source. It's the public because this public folder ac is accessible directly. So I will say CSS and then my file name is this. And let us also, do we have the JavaScript, uh, the jQuery? Yes and don't need the 3.0 <coughs> so I'll load two script files source is js slash the first is jquery min okay and the second one is bootstrap min let me load it up so yeah the stylings are coming properly what we will quickly do is wrap the app component inside div container <coughs> div section div row call sm12 and yeah let me okay let's for now 
add the title here itself no need to think too much about the styling we just need to get the basics right right so yeah cool 